this is going to be a pretty fun episode because I'm going to show you how to use a black light to identify rubies, sapphires, and diamonds. Okay, so I have two possible ruby rings here. One is silver and one is gold. Now watch this when I hit them with a the black light. Okay, see how they light up? Isn't that neat? And you wouldn't think that there'd be a ruby in a silver ring. But there you go, when they light up like that, you got yourself a ruby. All right, now for the sapphires. So, I have this really awesome white gold pink sapphire ring. And this is a gold ring, but it's a mother's ring where you put in the birthstones and the middle one is a pink sapphire. And this is a vial of sapphires that I've dug while gold panning and such. All right, let's see what they look like under the black light. Look at that light up, isn't that cool? See how the pink sapphires, they just light up. And if you look in that vial, see how some of those pink sapphires in the vial are lighting up? Now, as you can see, it definitely isn't working on all sapphires, but it definitely seems to be working on most of the pink ones. Okay, so for the diamonds, I'm actually bringing back the ruby ring because it actually has a couple of diamonds on there. And then I have this monstrosity. Didn't dig that one. It's actually uh, my wife's wedding ring. But about 30% of diamonds will light up a light blue color when they're under the black light. All right, let's check it out. See that? See how there's like three huge diamonds on there, but only one of them lights up? So that would uh, be consistent with the 30%. And then if you look over here on the ruby one on the very left side, see that little teeny blue spot next to the rubies? So that's, I think there's two diamonds on that one. So one of them lights up and the other one doesn't. And you're probably saying, well, how does that help me? Well, hey, this got me kind of thinking because we just got back from the Diamond uh, State Park in Arkansas. I don't think they let you look at night, but wouldn't this be cool? I mean, sure, you'd only see uh, about one out of three diamonds. But man, you could actually use a black light as a tool to help you find pink sapphires and diamonds and things in certain hunting situations. And then of course, it can also help you with the identification of your treasures. Anyways, I'm not an expert on this. And maybe you guys got something to add to it or something I messed up. But either way, man, I think this is super cool. And I'm excited to uh, you know, know more about it and uh, use it in the future. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe so you can get more videos like this.